Hi Cancer and welcome to your tarot video scope for July 2017 by Alma. This recording will be for Cancer Sun, Cancer Rising and Cancer Moon. In different months you may be influenced differently. Maybe sometimes it's your sun sign that influences you most or your rising sign or your moon sign. That's why it's important that you listen for your sun sign but also for your rising sign and for your moon sign. In this reading today, I will be opening five cards and I will be doing the Key of Life tarot spread. Uh, and I'm, all, I'm going to use one card from the Egyptian Oracle uh, deck. To, con uh, to contact me for a private reading, email me at amalightworker at gmail.com. You may also contact me through my website, amalightworker.com. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. If you like my videos, subscribe. And always remember to turn on the notification button. This way you will be notified immediately every time that I upload special videos. I am also doing... Uh, some new videos about the eclipse season. In August we're going to have a lunar eclipse and a solar eclipse and eclipses tend to influence your life for six months. So I'm doing ahead of times the videos about how these eclipses, the eclipse season is going to influence the next six months of your life and I'm going to post them ahead of time before eclipses happen in uh, August. They're going to be available for download and purchase in uh, vmail.com and I'm going to place uh, so check the show more description box on the right down here in the link uh, above. And a reminder we are under the influence of Jupiter transiting. This transit is going to last 13 months and it's not quite over yet. And I already made special videos about uh, that, how this transition is going to affect you. It is said that where Jupiter uh, goes, um, there will go our blessings. So Jupiter is known to be like the planet of uh, good fortune, uh, good luck and good uh, fortune. So find out uh, how that is, go that is still affecting you. Again, check the other link down here below and that's going to take you to the Jupiter special uh, videos for those of you who are interested for download and uh, purchase. So now allow me to focus on this uh, reading uh, today for you, Cancer. The general feelings that I am picking up for you, they have to deal with something will be manifesting for you in July. It's going to be about some, some kind of a new beginning or it could be like even creating new ideas. Uh, money and finances, but also uh, family matters and family sources. Um, kind of going deep within and being in, uh, in like a reflective mode, reflecting on um, things that add value to your life like love, finances, your future, the direction of your job or the direction of your career and um, feeling like there are other energies around you that are kind, kind of trying to protect you or save you from something. So generally these are good cards, however, I can help you by getting also a sense of things may appear to be okay on the surface but some of you but for some of you, you may have like this underlying sense of anxiety or a certain sense of trouble or other things that you may need to resolve. So now allow me to focus on this uh, one by one. The first card that wanted to show up for you for this reading in the position of what uh, happened that could be influencing your present current situation and your future, you have the Magician. And the Magician, it is a card to me that symbolizes opportunities, new beginnings, opportunities for you to use your uh, talents. It also represents love urges. It represents finances and your future. Another meaning of the card is uh, as above, so below, as, as below, uh, as below, so above. So it is the card of uh, money, uh, manifestation. So now allow me to tune in and let me figure out what does this mean uh, for your cancer. For some of you I keep getting a sense of hesitation that 
in some ways may be still uh, blocking you. For some of you, there is a hesitation when it comes to getting out of a deal, getting out of a contract, getting out of a lease agreement, uh, getting out of, it could be like a, a job situation or a job contract for some of uh, you. For other ones, there's going to be a little bit of hesitation when it comes to your position and how you see a relationship. This may not necessarily be a love relationship, but they are talking generally about you are going to discuss in your mind as to where do you stand in relation to uh, someone. And for some of you, they said that this month you will have some endings that you are actually looking forward to it. So certain endings that are going to happen for some of you Cancerians, they're saying this is not necessarily a bad thing. Some of you are looking to either end or complete something. And again, yes, to deal with another person or your relationship with another person or how you relate to this um, uh, other person. For some of you, I hear that you have reached the end of your journey. So I don't know what that means, but the way it's coming to me, it feels like the end of a project, the end of a phase of your life. So, um, so this is it. It's kind of like getting ready to transition to like a new phase of your uh, life. I keep getting uh, that for some of you, you may be dealing with money in some ways. For some of you, I keep getting like uh, dealing with a new bank, um, investments. Uh, it could be about the value of something changes. I don't know what this is, that the value of... Um, the value of it could either become more or less, so it could be like a depreciation of the value. I don't know if I'm using the right uh, words, but I keep getting that for some of you, this will affect you in uh, some way because they are talking about prices, sales, but mostly they're talking about the value of the money and your sense of abundance. Your sense of abundance it's not necessarily related to uh, how happy you are with your finances. They're talking generally about your feelings of love, joy, and emotional uh, abundance. And um, I think I forgot, but for some of you, you're going to celebrate your birthday in um, uh, July. So, uh, if I'm not mistaken, so happy birthday to you. For some of you, I feel like you're going to set your boundaries very uh, uh, straight, very uh, clear. This could be uh, in a situation at work. This could be in, in, in another situation. But is, it is about you being crispy clear with rules or you setting up your, uh, your uh, boundaries. It is about you setting up a certain sense of a limit or um, a limitation um, versus other people, in other words. This is where your limit, this is how much I'm allowing you uh, in regards to something. And by you being crispy clear about your territory or your um, uh, rules or your uh, limitations, I feel like some of you in this way, you may be able to save a situation or to save a uh, relate or to save a uh, relationship so uh, this is what I keep getting through this card and I hope this made sense to, uh, to uh, someone because again even though they seem to be good cards they're giving me some kind of um, uh, <laughs> uh, mixed uh, messages today for this reading for you the next card that you have is the Empress it does fall in the position of your present current uh, situation um, and the meaning of the card is abundance it also the Empress the meaning of the card is 
uh, one of your female spirit guides. This could be a mother or a mother-like figure to you, an aunt, a grandmother, a grand-grandmother, uh, a teacher, a mentor, someone who is no longer with us and is serving now as one of your spirit guides. Uh, this female uh, figure is part of your um, ancestral uh, family, spiritual family. You may not have to necessarily uh, have met them in this lifetime. You used to be together, together in a different lifetime and now she's serving as one of your uh, spirit guides. Another meaning of the card has to deal with your self-expression, your emotions, socializing, long and short distance trips, abundance uh, and uh, pregnancy or creation of new ideas and creation and beginnings of a uh, new uh, project so it also represents new beginnings so allow me to focus on this so let me hear specifically why is it that this card showed up for you in this reading for some of you I keep getting that um, someone is trying to send you their uh, blessing And for many of you, this could be a mother figure to you that is trying to reach out to you to let you know that they are still around or they, they are also looking forward uh, to um, something. But it feels like a blessing. It feels like a blessing. They are trying to send you uh, their uh, blessing. I keep getting that your family will be expanding, but this time around they are not specifically talking like a pregnancy of your own, but rather they are talking about grandchildren, nieces, and nephews. That doesn't mean that that is going to happen this month, but they're saying very soon. They are not putting a time frame to it. They're saying very soon your family will be uh, expanding. For some of you, you will come up with new ideas about a career. To you, they're going to feel like they are your ideas, but it feels that for some of you, they're actually planting ideas in your mind especially when it comes to you because you're going to feel inspired or propelled towards a new direction in your career not necessarily changing careers but a new direction with your job or with your uh, career for some of you i keep getting that this month you will be getting a lot of messages from beyond loved ones that have crossed over um they may appear in your dreams, but you are going to feel their presence in some uh, in some way. Uh, you may re uh, you may remind yourself of them, memories. And I got a similar message also for other signs, but for you, this seems to be uh, coming very strongly uh, this month. And they are also talking about healing, um, healing, healing from um, the uh, pasts you will understand everything and you will see everything with fresh eyes from a different uh, perspective and for some of you you may understand now what they say when they talk about a spiritual path or other realms or the soul being transformed and uh, what they mean by soul growth. So that's going to be the case for some of uh, you. Uh, this could also be about desires for you to grow. Some of you are going to be more ambitious. You're going to want to grow in some way, whether it is like uh, growing um, your knowledge in your mind, sharing your knowledge with others, but I keep getting that uh, some sort of a growth that you are looking forward to it will be coming, but you need to be patient. It will be taking place over the course of the next six months. Some of you 
are probably asking for your uh, like a growth in your family. Others are asking for a financial growth. Other ones are asking for like your career to grow and uh, de uh, develop. For other ones are asking for like your business and your clientele base. Uh, to uh, grow, others are asking for like uh, a better uh, a better home, or like a larger home, or more properties. Whatever this is, um, I feel that they're saying that it is coming, but you need to be more uh, patient, uh, more patient. And uh, let me see what else do I have in the next card. The next one is the Ten of Pentacles. It does fall in the position of the future. Uh, the Ten of Pentacles is the wealth cards. It represents uh, abundance, uh, harmony, comfort, loyalty, and generally it represents uh, money coming to you through family, family channels, family sources. Uh, this could also be an uh, inheritance. So allow me to tune in and let me figure out what does this mean uh, for you, uh, Cancer. And also another meaning of the card is uh, a reminder like uh, a reminder like remember to uh, share so allow me to figure out what this is even though this is a card about uh, money and finances first and for uh, foremost they are talking about uh, emotional uh, supports coming to you from your loved ones family friends and loved ones I feel that for some of you Cancerians, you must have done something very nice about either uh, one person in the past or a few people. Because I keep getting that now karma will reward you because in the past you helped a few people uh, and it could also be that maybe you helped family members in some way. But again, I keep getting be rewarded for that. If you are someone who maybe had to take care of someone toward the end of their life, uh, like taking care of a parent, taking care of other uh, people, I keep getting that all of this will now uh, start to reward you. Karma will reward you for it. And I feel that starting now in July, going forward three months from now, you are going to see your life changing and you are going to feel the sense of receiving your luck turning um or shifting for uh or shifting for the better so karma is going to keep on giving to those of you who were very helpful and help or even sacrificed to help um other uh people For some of you, I feel that other people may give you ideas or inspire you or push you to kind of pursue your dreams or pursue your talent or open a business. But you're going to feel from different people like a vibe of, vibe of hey, you should go for this. There's a lot of uh, encouragement. You need to be grounded this month. For some of you, I keep getting that it's a busy month. And for some of you, you may also be very excited. But again, they're saying whatever the case is. And for some of you, it is because you have to deal with some sort of a, a relationship or uh, coming to an ending or another kind of ending. But again, I keep getting that you need to ground yourself and you need to be grounded, but it's not going to be quite uh, easy. I keep getting that better things are in the making, uh, Cancer. Better things are in the uh, making. The next card that you have is a woman and her uh, regrets. That's the name of the card. And it falls in the position of the advice. This is a card from the Egyptian Oracle deck. And uh, every card in this deck also comes with an advice. So the meaning of the card is anxiety and useless worry. Um, clarifications are necessary, even if certain clarifications could be uh, hurtful. Urgent development to uh, stagnating situations. 
If you wish to stop sightseeing, you must find your courage and to take a course of action to uh, begin something, to do something. So to get in action, regardless of your personal and social conveniences. So courage is the key, uh, the key uh, word. You can create courage at any moment. So now let me figure out what this means. I keep getting, and it's also in the card as well, images of water, near water. For some of you, they are talking about a deep need to relax or just to work on your own or, or to work more independently or just uh, a moment to be alone and away from everything just so you, that you can rest and uh, recuperate. For some of you, I keep getting that how much value you put on yourself in some ways is going to reflect in your love life and is also going to reflect in your income or in your financial uh, situation. So allow me to stay a little bit with this feeling and let me figure out what else are they trying to tell me. There is a sense of emotional healing and liberation, especially from self-limiting thoughts. You are going to stop procrastinating. For those of you who tend to procrastinate, I keep getting that you're going to stop procrastinating and you're going to get on with the program, whatever this means for, uh, whatever this means for you. For some of you, you are about to embark yourself in a very long uh, journey because they're telling me the ship is coming and you are going to be embarking in this very long uh, journey. For some of you, you could be visiting and exploring new places, uh, new shores, maybe discovering like uh, places around the area where you live but you never visited be, uh, be, uh, before. I keep getting a certain sense that some of you are going to desire or, or wish to be more active, whether it is more active with your body, more active with your life. But I also keep getting surprises, surprises. So I don't know what that means. Maybe it's because it's your birthday, but some of you will have some kind of surprise this uh, month. I also keep getting that life or possibilities or opportunities are staring you in the face. So I keep getting like they're trying to encourage you to explore some of these uh, opportunities um, uh, laying uh, uh, ahead. So they're calling for a change. You need uh, a change. Change is coming. All you have to do is accept these uh, changes or accept these opportunities. Um, whatever this means uh, for you. For some of you, they're talking about a change in your income, and I don't know how this is going to go this way, up or down, but they're also talking about a change in your income for some uh, of um, you. And the next card that you have in the position of how to keep and maintain balance, you have the temperance. The temperance to me it is a card that denotes balance, but it also denotes uh, be patient. Divine forces are working on your behalf, or also divine forces could be working through you with angels by your side to make something happen. So this is about divine help or divine uh, intervention. You're going to have balance within you and balance all around you. Another uh, meaning of the card is certain things that you thought you had completed uh, from the past will arise again to test you. And this, um, this could be in regards to old friends, lovers, old habits, desires, health, money, or uh, business problems. So allow me to tune in and let me figure out what does this mean uh, for you. I feel that toward the end of the month, I feel like there's going to be like 
a hard time like three or four days toward the end of the month where many of you Cancerians are either planning already to do new uh, things or somehow you may have to deal with some new beginnings. For some of you, I keep getting that legal proceedings could be in uh, progress, but this time around, it is either to clarify information, to ask for additional uh, information, because I keep getting that some of you are not going to get like a crisp, clear answer. Maybe like a legal uh, situation is coming to an end. I keep getting like more information is needed or more or uh, uh, clarity is uh, needed. But definitely there's going to be something around uh, documents or legal documents, courts and the justice system for some of you. In the midst of it all, I also keep getting something around a car, getting like the license or a claim on a car or something like that. So that, that's going to be at least one of my viewers getting this because it felt like very, it felt oriented toward, toward at least one of you when they spoke about a car and something in relation uh, to that. Old partnership, old business partnerships. Some of you could be hearing in some ways from someone with whom you used to be romantically linked. They're not specifically saying you used to be in a relationship, but they're saying you used to be romantically linked. And that could happen toward the first part of the month. For other ones, I keep getting that some of you could be uh, dealing with a new business partnership or kind of trying to figure out a way to get out of a deal or something in regards to a business that you are trying to uh, grow. For some of you, you are very much advised not to fall back on in your, uh, in your old habits. I also keep getting some of you feeling like having a sweet tooth and trying to fight that or something that, uh, in other words, you should have been doing, like maybe your cholesterol is high and now you feel like very tempted to like uh, eat, uh, eat a lot of meat or um, uh, that has a lot of like fat, cholesterol, lipids or falling back into like trying, uh, you were trying to quit smoking and now you could be tempted to restart again. But I keep getting... In some ways, you will be tempted or tested uh, again. So please be careful uh, around uh, that. And again, I keep getting feeling the need or feeling very replenished when you spend some time on your own or being in the nature or being near uh, water and whatever the case is, I keep getting that your angel won't allow for anything bad happening to you. If you find yourself going through some very strong emotions, even if something comes to a head or a completion or an ending, they're saying that it needed to happen and this is only for your own good because for some of you I feel that like you weren't um, able to make this decision on uh, your own. Therefore, your angel is going to intervene to create a situation um, to create a situation because they're trying to pull you out of a, a situation, whatever this means for uh, you. Now, allow me to continue with your Akashic Records uh, messages for this month of July. A quick reminder, click in the links down here below. One of them is going to take you to the uh, Eclipse Season Special videos that I'm making for you and how that is going to affect the next six months of your life. And the other link is going to take you to the Jupiter influences, how Jupiter is still affecting your life. Because where Jupiter goes, so does your... Um, uh, good uh, fortune. So it's a planet of luck and good fortune. And, ha uh, and how this planet of good luck and fortune is affecting you. If you felt that you were going farther apart from your goals, dreams and wishes, you will be redirected again back on track. For some of you, this will be a very busy month. 
Some of you would have new neighbors. I also kept getting invitations to celebrate together or with other uh, people, most likely people in your community. I also kept getting images of traveling. For some of you, this could be traveling abroad. I kept getting a lot of Im images of you entertaining others or being entertained. Adventures, fun, pleasure, leisure time. For some of you, I keep getting like a marriage proposal could take place. I also got images of some of you being like in a bed rest. Um, for some of you, it was about giving birth. Uh, and also I kept getting images of resting and recuperating. Some of you may have to deal with like a list of things, like a list of inventories, because I keep getting like a list of items, prices, numbers, facts, finances. Uh, I keep getting like a list of uh, sales uh, or, or purchases, but I keep getting like um, big ticket uh, items. So I got a list of this, kind of like an inventory of prices, money, income, finances. I also kept getting images of some of you being on a boat or in a yacht or in a cruise, in a boat, because I kept getting a lot of, uh, I felt surrounded by, uh, by uh, water. For some of you, you may be signing some prenuptial, prenuptial agreements or work out the details of another agreement or working out the details of a plan. You need to be very mindful, but also very thoughtful. Some of you may be dealing with classes, courses, or transferring certain classes or uh, courses from one institution in another institution. So it, is, it has to deal with your uh, knowledge and your uh, education. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. If you are not subscribed yet, please subscribe and turn on the notification button. This way you will be notified every time that I upload special uh, videos. To contact me for a private reading, email me at amalightworker at gmail.com. You may contact me through my website, amalightworker.com. And again, all of this information, how to get in touch with me, will be down here below in the show more description box. So click on it you're going to find other links useful links and all of the information uh, above thank you so much have a great month and i will speak to you soon in the next video bye